This is BBC One. Now a party election broadcast by the Referendum Party. This election is being presented as a contest of ideas between the Conservative and Labour parties. But that's not true. The real issue is whether Britain remains an independent and free nation or whether it becomes a province of an undemocratic European superstate. If Britain remains a nation, then of course it matters which party obtains the majority in Parliament and governs the country. But if Britain becomes a mere province, then our Parliament, in the famous words of Tony Blair describing a future Scottish Assembly, will be no more than a sort of parish council. All the electoral promises now being made by both parties will be meaningless because the powers to govern the country would have been surrendered to, to Brussels. Who are these people who are so keen to surrender our hard-fought freedoms? They are the political, bureaucratic, business and media establishment, the group that controls the levers of power. For years they've misled us. When we joined Europe, we were led to believe that we were joining a common trading market. The government promised us that our sovereignty would be protected. In the 1992 election, both major parties prevented the Federalist Maastricht Treaty becoming an issue. And now, the politicians have deliberately delayed until after our election talks about surrendering to Brussels the remaining major areas of our sovereignty. Secretly, and without our consent, our nation is disappearing into a single European superstate with one government, one parliament, one court of justice, one single currency, one flag, and even one anthem. During an election, our politicians of both left and right don't like to talk honestly about plans for Europe. But let me read to you what Labour's said in its policy documents since 1994, and I'm going to quote. Labour's in favour of moving towards economic and monetary union based on a single currency. Labour says we want an integrated Europe. And they say we look forward to the European Union developing common foreign and security policies. And here is the policy to which the Conservatives have subscribed to. I quote, to continue the process of unification and federal integration in Europe and to contribute to the creation of the United States of Europe. The referendum party was formed to break the silence, to provoke a truthful deba debate and to obtain a full referendum. The referendum party seeks no power for itself. We simply want you to be allowed to decide whether we should remain a free nation or become a province of a federal European superstate. And don't believe the establishment when it tells us that the alternative does not exist. The alternative exists and is working. It's called the European Free Trade Association, or EFTA, and we used to belong to it. It provides access to European markets for our manufactured products, but there'd be no common agricultural policy and no common fisheries policy. It avoids political entanglements. So we would get the benefits of trade. Our agricultural and fisheries would be liberated and we would no longer be under the authoritarian rule of an unelected Brussels bureaucracy. Right now, you the people hold the real power, but only if you wake up and use it at the ballot box. If not, the establishment network will continue to control the levers of power and will continue to betray Freedom has to be fought for, and it is only those who do so deserve to be free. We urge you on this occasion to put nation above party and vote for the referendum party. Thank you. That was a party election broadcast by the Referendum Party and it can be seen again on BBC Two at 11.30 with subtitles.